Hello everyone, I'm not sure what you may think about it, but please don't be mad about what we're doing. We've decided to stay in Pripyat. We're gonna make an overhaul. We will carry out some capital repair and provide everything for comfort living. We will set here water supply, electricity and heating. We know that is not easy, but we've decided firmly that we will make it. We're going there not for fun. While living there, we will be restoring some places of attraction all over Pripyat and flats so people could live there in future. These adventures are going to be amazing. Don't switch your channel, that will be fantastic. Firstly, we're going to a hardware store to buy all materials and tools we need to make a perfect flat repair. You can't imagine the scope of work we are going to do now. And there are so many things we have to buy and next we have to bring it to Pripyat. We don't even know how we're gonna do this. We're just going to play by ear now. We're at the epicenter store. Do you know anyone who made some flat repair in Pripyat before? Or maybe anyone who lived there? But we are going to stay there for long. Prepare to dive in this hardware world with us. It is called the Epicenter. Hello sir, where can I get a big shopping cart please? Outside. It's so little. We are choosing the paint now. This one needs a toner to add color. Fancy that. It is why we didn't know that before. For now we chose this color. A kinda light green. We have to calculate how much paint we need. We will take 10 liters for now. But I think we're gonna need more, cause we have to put a few layers on each wall, so it will be cool. How much is that? 540. 500, aha. Uh -huh. What's the volume? 10 liters. Do you have like this but cheaper? It's 500 or 1000. Alex is behaving so stingy. He wants the cheapest brushes and toners, but what should we do anyway? We don't earn much money. The thing is, the walls weren't painted before. At all? Oh. Yeah, grey walls, but even. Were they painted or not? No, they were just covered with wallpaper, that's it. Yeah. Then you need some prime coating. And how much of it do we need? For 40 square meters, maybe. I think that's not enough. So we take 10 liters more? Is it 45? Yeah. The price is attractive, I think I buy it. Cheap prices always buy Alex. Is that one to one proportion? Yeah, it's for 5 liters, though it's hard to tell. Can I see? We can just smell. We can, but why not? Is that smelly? Oh my gosh. It smells like some glue. Does it dry quickly? Yeah, 2 hours. Cool. It is just what we need, Alex. I thought it's a cat toilet. Uh huh. There we go. Do you think they can see me now? Sure. Hey, get off! I've heard that some of you guys didn't like us riding the shopping cart last time, before going to Chernobyl last time. So how do you like this? Did anyone play King of the Hill? So I'm the king now and this is my sword. Well now, oh someone spotted me, I gotta go. We are not afraid of creatures now. Oh my gosh. Cool blaze, aren't they? Perfect for the jungle walk. Oh my, are they even sharp? Can you tell me please, what do you think about the idea of making a repair of a flat in the abandoned Pripyat zone? In Pripyat? Is it a kind of product promotion? And who are you doing it for? For ourselves? For yourselves in Pripyat? So we need to take 3 meters, right? I'm not sure. You can buy it starting from 280. Yeah, yeah. We want to refurbish a sofa with this fabric. So that's it? Yeah. Actually this fabric is expensive and it is so expensive that the shop assistant gave us a receipt and asked us to pay in front before cutting the fabric. Here is a card. Thank you, but we don't need it. It will be useful next time you come here. Thank you. Thank you. What if you're gonna need it tomorrow and you already have it? She really wanted us to take this card, you know. She may have profit from it. We have paid the receipt? Yeah, there it is. This amount looks immodestly for us. So, for now we have to buy some construction foam and we can go. Well guys, we have bought plenty of goose just now. Lots of food. I can't imagine how we're going to take this to the zone. Besides these goods, we have other things to carry. Pants, sweaters and so on. That is a hell. We don't have to walk for long, but with this load we can barely do it. 
That is the next day, guys. Today Dima has a nice mood, he believes we can do this, all's good. Things aren't clear now. The guys are here. <laughs> Birds of a feather flock together. Meet Albert. Why do you have this Bieber hair? I just got that. Hey bro, are you going to Chernobyl with this hairstyle? It's not a fashion show, you know? Oh my, this dude has a Russian number and goes around Kiev. This is unique. Exactly this one. So are you ready? Did anything change? Just go in. I was there before. Holy moly! Oh my! Why so little water? Little? That's enough. Really? 25 liters and so on. Rest of the water we will get on the place, from river. Today we are going to have fun, you know why? Because Justin Bieber is with us. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. So yeah, we'll have some live music today. I heard that you have a thing that we're gonna need in Chernobyl very much. I have a nice fishing rod, guys. Oh my, that's cool. We'll have some food. There are also maggots and worms. Show us how they move. That is not for the faint of heart. So what do you say? Do they move good? So nasty. I can't show it, it'll make video PG-18. So we're going to fish there for real or maybe catch a giant catfish. And we even have a net for it, we aren't playing there. We're going to pack it all. And Dima will call a nice dude. He will come here and we will load all this right in his car. And this dude will get all the things to the checkpoint and the Tchatki. Right to the place we're gonna pick it up later. We can't film people that help us. We can't, cause if anyone knows they help us, there will be big trouble. We will hide their faces and voices. But we will show you all that we can show. Well, let's get going. We're jumping in the car and go. To a dude and leave there my car. There go the main negotiation about the car that will take us there. Now we gotta hide the camera. So what is going on, Anton? Why is there three cars here? It's all fine. Are the three cars for us? Well, listen, Dima just told me that everyone is going crazy trying to help us to get inside of the zone and help us to deliver all the stuff and food we're gonna need in Pripyat. There is no turning back now, it all started. So we are following this car and I can't film it. What? Following it? <laughs> we seem to lose the car we were following. I think it's the right car. Do you realize, guys, we don't know who we are following now, what kind of people they are. We're just trusting Dima on that. We were following and they stopped suddenly and turned on the indicators. And we started thinking that they're gonna go out and shoot us on the place now. And steal our cameras, maybe. That is the beginning of the trip and we are moving in the Chernobyl area. This will be interesting. Oh. We are coming, Chernobyl. We are in Titatki village. It is just a village in the countryside, as simple as that, guys. And it smells like burning leaves. Real countryside smell. That is the main checkpoint of Chernobyl, guys. There it is, and now we are moving from here. Well, guys, we are in the place now. Don't show it, alright. Dima is afraid of going there. Well, we can't show you the place, just because we're going to hide our things in this cellar. There is our stash, water, well, that's a regular ice cellar. And now imagine that we will have to carry it all, little by little. I can show you more. <laughs> Did he hit? Yeah, hard. Painful? Did you have any effects? Yeah, some sparks in my head. We are out now, look at this. And now we're gonna go there. Hello? You're developing your business, don't you? Yeah, little by little. Oh, you're from Ukraine, haha. <laughs> some guys saw us already. We're spotted? Yeah, we're spotted. Are you here for long? Hello? I guess they're a new group. But these are the same dudes. Why here? They got mad at us. Really? So it weren't you that they caught? Ah, yeah, I saw border guards were trying to catch someone. They were surrounding someone. They were catching near the fence somewhere. So people often go there, right? Border guard and police too. Was there anyone today? No, no one. So it's clear. They come here every day. Yeah, they walk here every day. We can't stay for long, guys. Yeah, I know. Drop in. You're welcome. I know. 
If you want to show this terrible factory, you may bring some people here. So you guys make thermal decomposition here, right? Right, we do everything. There happen some explosions, we melt metals here. Want a souvenir? Sure, that will be a talisman. Give them one. Get a meteorite here. We are open for the tourists, because we are the folk people, you know. Water guards and collections are the other thing. Is that thermal decomposition of rubber? Yeah. Some gas from it? Yeah. Oh, we can't make it, need some powerful machines. Right. And the smell must be disgusting. When I tried it, my neighbors were mad. Yeah, we can feel there a bit of smell. There you go. That is the meteorite. Big thank to you guys, we gotta move. Yeah, drop in, friends. And don't worry, we are good. Do you see the trees? It's a forbidden zone. Actually, it isn't. The zone is farther. So we gotta move now. And we are going to the main fence with a bit of our things. And the main part of our things is going to be taking the right through the Tatki checkpoint. We're gonna walk through the fence and the dude will be waiting for us in a car. And then he will take us right to the Pripyat. And by the way, the police is kindly waiting for us as well. Where? Everyone knows we are going there. Really? You mean it? There is big excitement. So for how long we need to go there? For 5 minutes? Actually, this route is dangerous, the path is seen very well, and it is the easiest way to get in the zone. So many stalkers pass through here. There is much more police and border guards. Be quiet now. They say there are some border guards. And they're here for the steps. And if anyone talks. And so on. This time we aren't barehanded. We have the dosimeter now. The guys gave me some souvenirs on the factory. Hey guys, be silent. There might be lots of bodyguards waiting for us here. Oh, you've taken the dosimeter. How much? Let's search and see how much is that. How many? Four? Oh my. Thirty-one. It's okay. The dose is alright. So as we see, for now the radiation is okay here. A mushroom, look here. Take it, we can eat it later. How much? It's okay. Oh my. Okay, we have to move. So now we start playing hard. We go through the wild forest. We don't want border guard catches. Now we're going to cross the fence. It's the most dangerous moment. We're going for 15 minutes now. And I realized I wasn't ready for this, cause my back hurts already. Look at these ammonites. Let's get some. Some sounds. I heard some noise out there. Hey guys, it's my first time. Hush. Let's go. Oh my gosh, just look at these fans. I wish they aren't hiding in the bushes now, like many people told us about it. They may be hiding in cars and motorbikes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dima shows that we can go. So many flowers. So, there. It is much safer at night. Sure. Now we have to go one kilometer forward. Dima is talking about the police location right now. Uh huh, they're getting wood, right? So there are cars. Are they on uh, on the road in the forest? Uh huh, crossroads. Okay, got it. Thank you. Deal. Bye. So, what's up, Dima? So, on the place we're going to pass and get in the car, stand some foresters. And get some wood in the car. Oh my gosh. I heard something. That's a moose. That's a car. A car. Hush. We had to change the road and went through the forest. Despite all the difficulties, the view here is just awesome. The forest is pure and primary. We go and there is no path here, so we just keep going through the forest. Now it is the end of October, but somehow it is extremely hot here. We left warm clothes in the car, but we are boiling here. It is 22 Celsius. I'm sweating hard. I'm all wet as well. We both are wearing tough clothes. 
What to say, Bieber? You can't use your brain well. Hush, hush. He says silence. There will be the crossroad now. Did you hear that? There was some cracking. Over there. Oh my. It's a tree. Yeah, a tree. It's forest. I cannot keep up with the guys because I have bought the cheapest backpack and its belt is shitty. It is slipping and falling down, damn it. Can't withstand a sheet. Sometimes we use a little run. We are going through the logging. This area is extremely open. Anyone can see us. That's us. Oh, that's you. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. Good day. Oh my gosh. You seen that? I'm so scared. They caught us. Look there. I'm so scared. I started squatting and I wanted to lie down. Or maybe run, I don't know. I almost shit myself. And Timo was like... He says, it's us. People wait for us there. Oh, that's us. These were our guys. It's okay. Really? Yeah. I'm impressed. People working with logs are our friends. And the guys we met before are our friends too. But I was just told that the patrol went towards the Tiatki. So they may come back here. And see us while we are going. It is dangerous and hard. So now we're gonna face some hard times, guys. Because in the end of this field stands our car. And there are also some foresters working. And we can't go there, but there is no other way. Because it's the only point we can reach our goal. Hello. When a car moves in, jump in it. As simple as that. Now we're getting closer to the central road. And when the car arrives, we must jump in it at once. Hush. Now it is getting serious, guys. We are close to the central road. If anyone sees us there, we are done. Dima, soul mill. There is a car. Oh my, I see a soul mill. Crap. I'd better go another road through the forest. That's a hell. There is a soul mill there. I see. Dima is going to talk to them. We better sit down. Don't show off. Yeah. Hush, everyone. I think it's going to be okay. There are some people here. Where? In a car? There. I see. And he goes around calling someone. He's calling someone. Really? Yeah, look at him. He's talking. Oh, stop it. It's Dima. No, he isn't. It is Dima. Yeah, I tell you. So there we go. Cool. Well, I have nothing to say now. I just don't know what is happening. Some dude appears out of thin air and the soul meal now. All is unpredictable. Run, 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 let's run. Hard. That was a hell. Let's go, the road will be fine. Remember we were riding bikes here at night. I don't understand why they cut down so many trees. This place is supposed to be a Chernobyl sanctuary. People care after this place after all. Do you remember we were going there? Yeah, we turned around there. And there is an excursion. Sit tight, don't get out. Okay, the window is tinted glass. Then we will change his voice. So we wait, and what are these guards doing? Hush. Oh my gosh. It is heavily guarded. We don't know what we are waiting for, and where are we gonna go then? Where are we going? Crap. As I understand, we have arrived there for some pass, I don't know exactly what pass, and the dude that drives is going after some pass. He asked us to sit quiet and not come out, and whoever comes close, pretend we aren't here. The glass is tinted, so we can feel what's going on around here. Another car. There is a car going slowly. We are sweating hard because it's extremely hot today, and we are wearing warm clothing, prepared for cold, but now it's useless. And what is that? Oh my gosh. Damn it, it goes here. Look at it. That's it. We went out from Chernobyl and going around it now. So in Chernobyl and around it the radiation rate is normal. It is 13 micro hands. Chernobyl is a place with no radiation. And now it gets some 80. Oh my gosh. 
We are passing through a dirty zone now. We shouldn't be afraid, we are in the car. It's dropping, a small zone. Yeah, now it's right. Move it fast. Yeah, yeah, we are going. Just throw it there and that's it. Yeah, drop it here. That's it, here we are, unloading the car. We have arrived and that is... And this place is creepy, isn't it? I am on your base now and I just wanted your permission to stay here for a while. Okay, but we mustn't leave our things here. Yeah, thank you. Okay, got it? Okay, bye. So guys, this place we arrived is so creepy and cops may come here in any moment. So we gotta move really fast, you know? They may come once in a month or two times a day. To here? You know, previously these guys at base here did some metal cutting officially in Pripyat. Uh -huh. But later it closed up and there were less orders. So this place is half legal now, so they don't do it officially here. Well, friend, just have a look at all these things. Keep in mind this pile, and there's another pile. I want to thank you very much, bro. This dude took us here inside Pripyat by a car. I don't know how he made it. Link is below, yes? Maybe. This time it was really hard, I don't know why. Two contacts refused and the third agreed to help. We have a real ordeal up ahead, we have to carry all these to the place, to our flat in Pripyat, and we have a long way to go. We're going to leave their stock of things and take a part of them with us. I think we should go second base, and from there we will carry it all through night. So we will be moving in Pripyat tonight, yeah. We'll hide all the things in this trailer. There are some bags and a gas mask here. The helmets, look here. People were working here officially, you know? Yeah. Look there. There is a computer, but what for? A small stove, a bed. Oh, they were getting some radio parts. As I see, they also broke some of them and got out valuable metals. Let me show you. The thermal circuits like these were torn apart. There was some gold plating. And this is how 380 volts working cable looks like. We used the same cable to power up our flat in Pripyat last time. The radiation rate is bigger than normal here, not a big deal, 80. As I know, when it's less than 200, we're not in danger. Let's measure the rate in the trailer, we're going to put things in. Relatively, it's okay. This thing attracts me the most. What is your rate? Nothing here. You know, this place is weird, guys. Let's measure the wheels. There is some radiation. Measure this pot, please. We're going to put things here. I don't see any danger here, let's go. I'm turning off the cam and we will put things inside. We are waiting for it to get dark now. There are some cars. Run! Get up and go! Run! Hush, everyone! Maybe we better hide inside? We were set up. Let's get out of here. Without things? We are leaving the things here. What if they find them? We are taking big risk now. We better stay out of trouble. Well, we left our things in that trailer. And now we are searching for... For a place we can take all our things for now. Because it's very risky to stay here right now. Sometimes there is police and so on. We'll return here at night to pick up our things and then we'll go to Pripyat. Be careful, it's risky here. Let's go. I hope when we return our things will remain as they are. I hope so as well. There is everything, materials, food and other stuff. This route is dangerous. But we have to move this way, towards Pripyat. Oh my, I've got some souls in my pocket, look at it. <laughs> By the way, the rate is high, 170 microhentens. Oh my gosh, 
in just the background. Let's measure the ground. What? How much? 170. And that's why the guys advised me to buy the shoes I can throw away when I'm back. We're walking now, and the ground is radioactive. Well guys, I'm doing some reckoning, we're close to Pripyat now, and the things are totally freaky. Because of the rumors that security guards and police is searching for us, and we're going stealthily, we don't want to draw their attention. We're searching for a place, we can wait till night. Everything is destroyed, guys are moving in. It looks like a place for agriculture equipment. Dogs are barking. Oh my, quiet. Silent. Holy moly. This place is scary. That's our new home. Coisy place. Coisy, you say? Oh my gosh. I would like to climb on the roof. Why? It's burned. Yeah, there was a fire. We need to wait here. Crap. Hush. Oh my gosh. Let's check out the radiation rate. The rate is okay here. You know why? The building was closed during the explosion and it didn't get here. No radioactive dust, it's clear. We hear some noises. Isn't it safer to sit somewhere in the forest, maybe? No one can find us. No one can find us here as well. They will not even go there. Forest is more beautiful than and more radioactive too. We are not going to the forest. So do you like here in Pripyat so far, Max? You told me it is like Lugansk. <laughs> when it's early in Lugansk, the streets are empty too, and no one works. Empty streets. There are no people too, but there is radiation, and it is really scary here. I feel scared. Can you guess what I have in this camera bag? I don't know, a camera? Do you have a special camera here? Someone's coming. Do you hear it? Hush. It's Dima. He scared me. Now it is dark enough, as you see. We will take our things here. I wish they haven't stolen our things already. If someone saw our things, they could just sit here and ambush us when we are back for them. It is extremely cold now. Though I was complaining about the heat recently, and now it's cold. We had the trailer. And Dima is reckoning. If there anyone or not, it is weird waiting here. Cause the police may be waiting for us there. We are lucky and no one stole the things we left. We have brought all things to the midpoint. That wasn't easy, but we still need to carry them all a long way to Pripyat. Right, these are not all the things. The guy just went for the last things. We have twice more things than you see now, and we have to carry them all to the flat. What do you say, Alex? We can do it, little by little. It will not be nor fast or safe. Where are we gonna go? Somewhere there. Here? So we can go through the garages, right? No, I don't think so. We have found a flat to stay for a night. Yeah, we're gonna stay for a night, and tomorrow we'll think about the constant flat. What about the flat? It's okay, it has windows. We will see it better now, and it is hidden well. Sounds good. We will carry the loot here for now, and find a place to sleep, and tomorrow we will find a flat for repair in this area. Middle of the night, full moon, we secretly delivered all our things to the flat. This is our flat and we keep things in there. We haven't carried all of them, and we gotta go back now. They will go there the third time, and I am the second. And meanwhile Alex will find us another flat, cause this one is no good. Yes, the worst thing is ceiling leaks, and the walls are wet. And the most crazy thing is that the floor got rotten, and when Alex was going here, he broke the floor through. Imagine that. One more step and he could fall down. It's dangerous to walk here. Only junk here, nothing good. I think the biggest danger here is that we can fall through the floor any moment. Or step on a rusty nail, break a leg or something worse. And no one is going to save us. Why are you all wet? I was carrying an awful lot of things, you know. Walking with a load for 30 or 40 minutes each time. I have very mixed feelings now. I have never experienced that before. I feel like I'm going through some space. And I can't realize with my brain where am I now. Max, when cops arrive, you'll find where you are. <laughs> Do you want to take a bath? A bath? Yeah, look at this bathroom. Oh, a mirror. Oh my. We can do some renovation here. There are the pipes here. Yeah, something remained here. I didn't expect this. 
some tile here, cool. There's a shelf. We can fix that too, that would be okay. Let's see what's there. It's the kitchen. A piano here. Look at it. Would you mind some scary music? I'm waiting for this. Like it? Let's go. Imagine someone else hears it now. You must realize, guys, that this sounds really scary in Chernobyl. Now the main part. What the hell, guys? Don't do it. Gimo asked us to stop. Because both stalkers and other unfriendly fellows can find us here. So was it really loud, Anton? You know what? I almost pooped. <laughs> It all started awfully, cause one of our helpers got lost. His name is Super Sus. Sus, hi there, friend. Thank you for being that helpful for us. You're such a nice person, it's a pleasure to deal with you, you know? Oh yes, you observed all the terms of our agreement. It's a pity you didn't come. Have some rest, bro, seriously. I guess you're busy now. Don't mess it up next time, dude. Guys are going to carry the last part of the things. It is the third time. And I'm going to go... I'm alone here and I will be searching for a place. It's complete silence now, no one else is around. And I happen to find another stalker's flat in 15 minutes. Some stalker's flat. The first thing I mentioned is a pile of garbage. This junk here is modern, that means stalkers lived here. According to the pile size, there weren't many stalkers here. I can't show you anything but the floor, flashlight is easy to see. Beds, a toy car, shoes and plastic bag and the main thing is vodka and all the rest and uh, a stock of supplies let's see what's inside candles oh my gosh what's in there plenty of supplies condensed milk what else did they leave here snacks what uh, what's that Super Seuss? They were here! It is the flat of Super Seuss! The entire book is filled with the, the names with a big marker. Okay, I better turn off the light now. We have returned for the last trip just yet, and we have brought the water stock. And the paint weighs 70 kilograms. Max, Anton, be silent. Okay, got it. Actually, it's useless, cause we have heard some stabs on the way here. And sometimes Dima asks us to turn off the light. Other stalkers warned us that there are police patrols here, and we were carrying the building materials. Paint and so on in prepaid means a penalty for vandalism, and that could be really bad for us. But we were moving like ninjas and made it anyway. We have decided to stay for a night in Super Seuss's flat, which I have found. Because other flats don't have any beds. We settle in little by little and we're gonna sleep here. As always, we start cooking a meal at 4 am. We have some mashed potatoes today. So I can say we don't starve here, we eat well. There's fresh air and we do a lot of activities, so we must have a good ration. Anton is making a dessert. A strawberry porridge smells good. Strawberry. Water is boiling. Let's eat. Wait for two more minutes, Alex. I'm just filming how it drips. Looks like an age restriction when it drips. I'm not sure what do you mean by that. You say how it drips. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what to say, I'm gonna sleep here and there's a mouse. Oh, go away, shush. Let's get the garbage. Film it. It's okay, she's hungry. If we don't leave any food here, she's gonna eat us. She will eat our ears. I mean it, they can eat ears. Escaped? Sure. There she is. Oh, there's another mouse. They're in the bag. They're shaking that bag hard. It's there. Ouch! That was you, Anton. Yeah, it was him. What? Why hitting it with a stun gun? Where she is? Hiding over there. Just scare her. They both went over there. 
Canned eggplant with prunes. Sounds cool. Guys, there is a mouse living in our bed. Come on. Why on earth are you talking about prunes? We were sleeping on it and the mouse hole was in the bed. And there appears the head of the mouse. There was a loud shriek. Oh yeah. Dima was the loudest. I just hope she is not going to climb in my sleeping bag tonight. Good morning. Did you sleep well, Max? Really bad. I had to sleep without my pants and that was awful and cold. I kept waking up and didn't sleep well. How's your mouse, neighbor? They're okay, we didn't have any trouble. Did you sleep well, babe? Now you get why I don't like to sleep here, right? <laughs> I'm good, but what about you, babe? But it was him who took off his underwear at night. Take a look at these walls, guys. Now you can see a regular flattened prepit. And that is just disgusting. There was Vanya. Oh, sorry, Vaha. I did have underwear, okay? Such a nice view from here. A secret prepit area. Actually, it isn't drinking water here. We save drinking water. Yeah, this water is from the river. And now we can clean teeth. That noise sounded like voices. I thought the same. A group of stalkers. Over there. I'm gonna watch out here all the time, you know? <coughs> Look what's happening there. Now it all will be deactivated. Yeah, we're deactivating this contamination. While Anton is deactivating the contamination of his legs. That is a good flat, but there are so many mice. We sold three at least. Yeah, three. Wait, that were the mice that spoiled a pack of porridge. Yeah, plenty of mice. I see this many first time in Pripyat. They live right in this bed. It was the first time I slept on a mouse hole. He means we are the mice. Fancy that. So we left the Super Susus flat and the guys are downstairs now. And I want to keep up with them. Hey Dima. Can you tell please the young stalkers where to put garbage in Pripyat? They seem not to know. Put all the junk into sewers and open hatches. All packets and so on. Don't leave your junk in the flats, cause animals come here and eat it up. So you better don't feed animals like this. And some of the stalkers are so nasty. They leave rubbish in their own flats. That is not right. There is a storage flat. Now you can see that we don't make much noise. There is a water stock. <coughs> Hush! I have many maggots and worms here and so on. And of course the fishing road. And we're gonna need the net to get the biggest ones. Because I think there will be 50 kilograms catfish. Many of them. Guys, Anton is going for a reckon. We don't want to bump into an excursion, you know? Yesterday we saw a bus two times. And then a cool microbus, a Mercedes. Let's go. Anton says we can go. We are moving. Yesterday I have searched that house and I found only one good flat. I thought we can find something better. And now we went to the next building to find a better place. But there is no entrance. We have to find another way. This building looks weird. And there are no windows or doors. Yeah, I don't like that too. I hope we will not meet stalkers. Look there, there can't be any. Hmm, but maybe there are some flats. Look there. Oh my, a phone box. Let's look at it. Maybe there is still a phone? I don't know. There is some, but it is broken. What is left? Oh my, they got them. They stole the wires. It was different from using a smartphone, you know. I'm just going further and... And you're gone. These are the dangers of Pripyat, the open hatches. There is another one. Let's go and see this way. Hey, look at it. There is the stairs from one floor to another. It was a fire ladder. One stalker told me that there were penthouses that were given to large families here in Chernobyl. No, it isn't. People just went through this ladder for a visit. Okay, let's go inside already. A fuse box. Just look what we found. There's a list of names of all house dwellers that was cool in the past. 
These are all the people lived here. We are skipping the first floor, going to the second floor at once. So the plan is simple, we will go see first, second, third and fourth each floor. And look for the flat that has less leakages. So here we go, the first flat. So what do you see? There is something here. I can tell you that it's all wet, no switchers, no door. There are the windows and the wallpaper is almost perfect. Something is intact here. It isn't a nice flat, you know. We cannot repair it and the window is broken. The next one. Just look at the condition of these flats. It's mayhem, like there was a tornado. There was a leakage and the water destroyed everything. Even the doors fell because they became soft from water. The floor is awful. Water is the enemy of Pripyat, the roofs have many leakages. We are told that only 5 floor buildings have nice roof here. Hey, look at it. Yeah, I smell that at once. A flat of other stalkers. Let me show you something. Look, there is a cat here. A hurricane. Hey guys, we have searched three neighbor entrances. It's just a mess. All is ruined with water. Too many leakages. Yeah, that is Pripyat. And we have mentioned the dance house in the distance. And it looks really good, but it's risky and catchy, yes. But I think I'd like to go there. Not really, it isn't new. It was constructed in another way, so it is white outside. <laughs> We can check it out, but many windows are broken there. It says our house is out to keep. Let's go. So we are still looking for the flat that we can repair. A big room. Oh my gosh. Wallpapers are almost okay. Linoleum. And this flat looks intact from here. Some ashes and cigarettes here. Oh my gosh, all is covered in tiles. An intact bathroom. Look at it. Yeah, really. Fancy tiles. Just like in my house. We're going to check the entire building for radiation. We'll go to the top and in theory there must be the max radiation rate. Right now the rate is normal. We are on the ninth floor, the last one. No radiation, it is safe. Let's try a flat. Now the rate is 17. Let's measure the floor, it must be the most contaminated. There is no radiation still. Let's go to the hole. There we can see the roof leakages and the mattress is all covered in moss. And with water they could get some radiation here. It's absolutely okay, no signs of danger. It is 20 micro rankings per hour and this rate is absolutely okay. Let's go on the roof, there will be something. There is a roomy ceiling guys, but we need to get higher. Elevator room here. All is torn apart, let's go up. Going there puts us in danger. We are seen well. I don't see anyone, but there are two high buildings nearby. There may be excursions. Max. Yeah? Just look at this tree. It grows on the roof. We are really afraid, guys. We can't see this radiation, but we can feel it with body. It's all good. Crap. Well, let's open the cap on the filter. It is going up. Still okay. We should find a hole and try to measure it. Hear that? Something is going on. Oh my gosh, look here! Oh my gosh, look at it guys! It's 800! Moss! Oh my! 2500! 2500? That is a record! 5000! There's the hot point, look here! Look at the screen! 300 and see what happens! Oh, here guys! 7000! 8000! Holy moly! And now it's not much. Let me find it. 9000! That is too much! And it's shooting us right now! Yeah! It is 8000! It is gamma and beta. See, it stops when I turn it around. We can stay here for long, it's risky. 
Let me show you a trick with particles. It is 8000. But I put my hand in between and... And my hand doesn't let it go. It falls to 200. Then I get my hand away and it becomes 7000 again. These are better, because I can stop it with my hand. This radiation cannot get through the clothes, but if you lick it or eat some moss, it will get inside of you. There is no one here. No one seemed to find this place. No one got in while we were out. Look, there is suspension. Yeah. Yeah, these cars for kids were cool, and they had three pedals here. You know, we touch the roof with our hands and so on, and some metal things too. Maybe we can check out our hands with the dosimeter. What if we have 300 already and we have to go? The background radiation is 23 and 25 now. It's on the place we slept. It is a bit higher than in the city. And that is normal. Let's measure hands. I think I can put it. Nothing here. It couldn't happen because it didn't touch any dirt. Let's measure the boots. Like this. Don't touch it, there can be particles. Well, we see that the boots are clear. It shows a slight growing up, but it's normal. It would be worse if you go outside, I think. That's good news, we are not radioactive. Danger. We are on the watch out all the time. Hey, hush! There is a car. We don't know whose car is that. Maybe it's a police car. It is near our house. There. Yeah, the blue Volkswagen. We have decided to go anyway. At our own risk. Alex scary. Yeah, who knows who is inside. Oh my gosh, guys, there was someone in the car. Dima said, just relax and go. It is okay. We pretended to be tourists and walked close to the bus. And there was a bus driver inside. And he looked at us. But he was watching in his smartphone and didn't pay attention. We have to take risks sometimes. There's good news, guys. We have found a flat with furniture, <laughs> but it's stalker's flat, and we have to ask for permission. I think we have got a flat for repair. We are on the roof now, internet signal is good here, and Dima calls the stalkers. So we want to repair a flat, can we do it there? No, 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 for the better. When are we gonna move in, so the paint dried? Are you good there? Okay, good. Till next time. Hey, Max, we've got a flat. Oh, man, finally. So, it is dangerous to go out here, right? Yeah, we saw a drone just now. It could be someone from the excursion. Hey, don't lean on the roof. It is radioactive. Really? 300 micro-enhance? Maybe not 300, maybe 200. Why don't we have a dosimeter now? It's okay, it's micro rent hands, but on the roof it's the most contaminated zone, it gathers the most of radiation. So guys, roofs gather the radiation with rain and snow mostly, as you get it. Pity we don't have a dosimeter now. We always wash our hands and use a wet napkin after each walk. And clear the boots too, so we are good. Almost in each entrance, we found lots of stalker flats. So we moved in another entrance and Max said that there may be some guy sleeping. Well, we have found a flat and look at it. The clock, where did you get it? A doll with a gas mask. Oh my. Vodka. And there is a radiation sign here. They stole it. Signatures of the guys. Hey, fancy if they heard us going there and just hid upstairs somewhere. That's possible. Oh my gosh. We still live in the abandoned ghost town.
We have finally found a flat. I think it's use our coals. Let's go. There are some mattresses here, a big chiffonier, and a sofa. And now we have to fix this flat. Some time ago they leave some stalkers already. And according to thick layer of dust, there was no one here lately. We have to tidy up here and prepare for the job. And then we're gonna carry our stuff here. They arrived cops an hour ago, they may be searching for us as well. People saw us and there are many excursions here. We must wait for an hour or something. The things quiet down and it becomes dark. It's going to be bright moon tonight. Are there other ways, Dima? There are no other ways. Now our task is to remove all this rubbish. Rising. We're covering the door and no one can see us here now. A nice life hack. You're right, Chernobyl life hacks. Nice, there we go. There's a sausage here, no joke, really? So some stalkers fed mice here. Just look at the wallpaper and the sound. Good job. So Dima, can we remove this wallpaper like this? Yeah, you can. That was really loud. The light has fallen just yet and we made a big noise. Now take a look at this room. We saw it like this when we entered. No mattresses now and no wallpaper. Lots of work is up ahead. No we. There is so much of dust here. Oh my gosh. Much, isn't it? Are you afraid as well? I just hate dust. There's plenty of dust in the air now. I'm started worrying about radiation. What if it's in the air? Can it be so? We have found this flat in another district. The thing is, the flat we had with electricity was occupied by a dirty stalker. Dirty means they leave a lot of rubbish and paint stupid symbols on the walls. He brings here some American tourists and makes something weird with them. They really do something trashy. Guys, I don't know how that possible, but they tore apart a cast iron bus. It's broken apart. Just have a look at this finger-thick metal layer. Maybe it was blown up. That was him who scared us in the last video. He follows us and does nasty things. Oh my gosh. I hope he will never find our new flat. So as you see, we have brought the building materials here. In our flat. The main rule is not to put light in the windows, because we're near to the city center, so if anyone sees the light in the window, they're gonna find out that we are here. We're preparing the ceiling for painting and clearing it well. Because now we're going to primary toll and, and paint. I see someone's writing in the comments. You're nuts, you're rising the radioactive dust and breathe it in. I'm going to put it simply, so there it goes, we are pros, and what is next, Alex? So we can do it, but you mustn't do it. Okay then, let's check out the radiation rate, we are in pre-bit after all. Oh my, look at his face, guys, he's so serious. We aren't playing games here, right? Is it the dust reaction, or you worry about radiation? By the way, can you measure these spots, is it much or not? It's okay, it doesn't hit 30. Oh my gosh. Let's put it here, be careful about the light. See, it's alright. It is the very moment we are pouring the paint. It's white. Oh my, look at this paint! What do you say, does it smell bad? It's okay. Yeah, it's the very moment. It works well. Oh my, just look at all this. This prepared flat is getting better with every move. Does the whitewash fall? Yeah. Hmm, let's pour some water right in the box. Just just a little bit. Yeah, now mix it with that thing. What do you say? Yeah, you're right about it. Let's see, I think it became better. Even if it falls, don't worry, we're gonna make the second layer. So, there we go, Alex is fixing the electronics, you paint, and we'll bring the sofa in better condition. There's a part of the lamp, 
I was thinking why it doesn't work and so on, and look here, the cartridge, look at this terrible rust. Holy puppet, it's all over, electricity cannot get through. But I have found another cartridge in the neighbor flat, perfect condition, I have to replace it and it will be working well. We have found a power bank, where did you get it? Right under the bed, is it working? I'm sure it's working, someone could lose it. Hey, look here, working, oh my gosh, look at it, really? It has 34% of power and I can charge my smartphone now. Was it a stalker stash? I think the guy just lost it. It has only 34%. It is too small to be left here in purpose. Alex, our plans are changing now. No. We aren't going to paint the entire ceiling. Because the whitewash falls down, we're going to paint the black holes only. It looks awesome anyway. Yeah, it's perfect. Let's add some color to make it better. Look at it. Oh my. It is so rich. Look at this magic. There are some lumps. Is it from whitewash? It's from water. Oh my! That is awesome! Just look at this, guys. And it's only the first layer, guys. This color is pleasing, I can say. Pity it's night, we can see it full beauty. We're gonna see it tomorrow. I can't stop looking at this difference, the wall before and after. I've got something else to do while they are painting the walls. Another mission. I have replaced the cartridge successfully. It's so shiny now. Now I take a brand new bulb from Lugansk, my home. Screwing it. Adding voltage. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Now we have to plug it in here. Somehow. Is it okay? It looks so broken. That's alright. It's very dirty, we can clear it up. And the bulb is too weak, we need something brighter. About 60 watts. So this bulb is from your house? Well, Pripyat has never been treated so well. Do you like this color? It looks peaceful. These walls take pain just perfectly. Have you tried to... Hush! Wait! It must be my imagination, that noise. Let's see. Oh, it is dried already. Yeah? And no toxic smell. We thought all Pripyat gonna smell it. In Pripyat you can smell some specific flavors easily. For example, the smell of food cooking or some perfume. We have visited other group and they live on the sixth floor. They were having meal there, and we smell the food from the first floor. So we must be careful about the smells here. The light is on. The bulb is weak, but that's quite enough for us. Bathroom has a lamp too. Looks nice. There came water, and some pigs have broken the switch. So the second room doesn't turn on. She jammed. We'll see about that. Checking the light. For now we have this switcher. I feel like I'm in the house of my grandma, in the countryside, you know? Yeah, I got you. But it's the real Pripyat. Just go and show them in one piece, you're gonna flip out, guys. Max lantern brightness. Look. Oh my gosh. We mustn't make noise. And now we see that it's Pripyat. Look at this passage. Watch it. It is the real Pripyat hole in the building. The elevator shaft here, all's broken. Look at this side, and the floor, look at it, oh my gosh, damn it, I don't know what else to show you. So now you see, we are in Pripyat, and this is our place, looks real different. Everything goes according to plan. Now I'll put here a lampshade, and it's going to be awesome, and in the third layer, the walls will be pretty. Now I'm painting the corners nicely. Not all the sockets are in the working condition in our flat. And that's why I'm here in the neighbor flat. We're going to get a socket for us. There we go. Let me spin you. And install it in our flat. Fixators. And a screwing. All left is. Spin this bolt. Firm and steady. Our sofa is going to look awesome. We have bought this goldy cloth in purpose. Take some extra, there is a band. Yeah, I got this. No one ever done that before. New upholstery makes sofa look new. 
Meanwhile, Anton is painting the walls, still. We try to make it carefully, we don't even spoil furniture, all's clean. For there, up and shoot. It goes well, isn't it? Yeah. We thought it was going to be louder, but to hear, not loud, all's good. There are some places we can't paint well, unfortunately. Anyway, the walls are becoming better. We are not pros in that anyway, we are not builders or something. We just make it as good as we can, you know? Anyway guys, we are making a nice stalker flat for ourselves. The switchers are fixed and I'm setting this case. Carefully, there is some voltage already. I don't want any trouble. There we go. The window is covered well, the light can get through, because we don't want to be seen from the street. Well, we have brought light here already, and next we want to bring here water and repair the bath and toilet. Maybe in future we'll make a tank for keeping water in here, a water gatherer. We should use a bus to collect water, I mean rainwater collector. I saw the drain pipes and they are in good condition. Just think about that, guys. Dima is that cool that he can order some food here in 5 seconds and it will be delivered here in Pripyat. Unfortunately, we cannot share this content, because, you know, it's illegal. We have a kind of Amazon delivery here, you know. So it is the fourth layer already. It goes really well, look at it. Anton tries hard. The sofa is ready. The armchair is ready. And the mattresses are ready too, but Anton is still painting. Maybe we can paint doors as well? We've got a spray pan. Maybe we can use it now, on this side only. Don't touch other side for secrecy. That is going to be futuristic. We are very educated and read a lot of futuristic books, you know. We don't need the glass to be painted, so I'm using some scotch tape. You have been breathing with paint, so tell me how do you feel? I know things may become vague. You know what I'm feeling? When I go out of this room, I'm stunned with the fact that everything outside is in ruins and garbage. It's so scary. It's so weird out there. Yeah, I almost put my pants there. Fancy if there appeared a silhouette. That would be hard. When this video comes out, there will be crowds of stalkers searching for this flat and Pripyat. They'll be going to destroy it completely. The stalker guys told us that there are some special groups of vandals in Pripyat, and their purpose is to destroy stalkers' flats so there would be no more stalkers. They really cut mattresses and destroy every stalker flat completely to prevent stalkers living there. So why do they do that? And they also break the toilets, it's their special fetish, you know? And they throw pianos from the balcony. That is hard. Wow, we can draw some spots here. And there is a fancy line. Yeah, cool, look at it. Watch out for drops, don't overdo it. Yeah, I think I've got it. So can anyone in Pripyat smell us now? Oh yeah, our neighbors can smell us for sure. It is curtains time, we have bought a very rich looking stuff. Here we go. Unpacking. Oh my! Yeah, cool! Oh my gosh! I wonder how we're gonna hang these curtains. We can use a rope or something, maybe? Put it through like this? Yeah, you got me. We have painted one door and decided to leave it like this. Isn't that cool? Futuristic? Just think about this scale. Not in a regular flat, but here, in Pripyat, the forbidden Chernobyl zone. There happened a catastrophe in 1986. Dima, help out! Hold them, don't let it get dirty. Isn't that good? Oh my gosh. Too long? We need to stretch it harder. Yeah, we should. Turn on the light. Like someone was screaming. Guys, we stand like this every 30 minutes. Maybe turn on the light? I don't know. Turn the light off. It's weird, because we don't know who is that. Are they stalkers or police? We don't know. If it's police, they will put us in jail. We'll make a report. They will write a report about us, yeah. Like this. Is it awful today? I think so. It is 3 am and we gotta sleep. That's it, we're gonna have rest. Let's go? Yeah, let's go. For now, we sleep in the neighbor flat. Because we haven't finished here. And the paint stinks. 
I hope no one's gonna find it. We hit it well anyway. You will search it for long. Yeah, we've taken it back from Harry Potter. You know where things get smaller. And we toss that flat in this bag too. I think the paint has affected his mind, guys. Good morning, guys. We have been repairing the flat through night. I have lost power now. My back hurts. My feet hurts. Everything hurts. That's a hell, guys. And Max was sleeping harder than ever, like a log. Do you like this gas cooker? It is the second time this one saves us. We cook right in the bed. Cooking is almost over. Anton has cooked these awesome cup noodles. And also fat slices of bread for everyone. Take it, I haven't washed my hands yet. Enjoy your meal, guys. We have soup today. We are leaving the Super Suzu's flat and clearing everything. Because we are moving into our new flat and we are supposed to finish it today. Guys, there is no water and we wash ourselves with wet napkins, imagine that. And wash our faces too. Look what he's doing, the deodorant. <laughs> Actually, my feet smell so hard that the roaches run away. <laughs> that explains why we haven't seen mice today. Alex said we need to wash our faces every time before eating a meal, because if anyone eats a small radioactive particle, that will be bad. So we always stay clean. So what's your rate? Bad. You have some dust on your head. <laughs> the doll is shocked. Did Sus stole this doll from the ghosts? Maybe. Shame on you, Super Sus. Max really wants to go fishing. Yeah, I wanna go fishing really much. And when I go there, there will appear a two-headed giant fish. The other guys don't want to go there, but... I'm going to force them to go anyway. Yeah? Max, stay silent. So the flat is clean and we can go now. We have packed our things and now we can move in our own flat. And now you see how we go out of the building here in Pripyat. So if there's a car, I should hide, right? So I'm going, yeah. I'm going for a reckon now. There is no car. Let's go, guys. It's okay. It is really dangerous to walk through Pripyat by day. But we need to carry all our things. I'll be looking after you. There was a bus here yesterday. Hell yeah, we are finally in. We entered the building and no one saw us. Is it good? Old place? Yeah, we're good. Guys, no smelly paint today. Yeah, sure. Hush. Let's go inside. Yeah, there is a bit of smell. I'm opening. We tried so hard. Smells like repair, guys. Wow. Let me turn on the light. There is a secret switcher. We're going to continue to clear the flat. We have got some nice gloves here. What for? To wipe the dust. We have to clean the furniture, cause we have dropped some paint on it yesterday. These drawers weren't clean for 30 years. Just look at this dirt. It was a clean cloth. Wow. It becomes so clean. Looks brand new. Oh my, it was one time. This is just disgusting. We don't need to buy a flat now. We have found a free flat. We haven't spent much money for it, really. There are so many flats. Go and get one. You know, that would be good if some people come here in Pripyat after this video and with some building materials and also try to restore these flats like we do. Imagine that. Like this, Pripyat could be restored in a few years. 
that you that will make the best flat repair in prepared will come with us for free next time. You will join us and take part in our adventures, you gonna see it all, you will see how we film these videos and so on. Don't worry about money, homie, you will go with us for free. If you really want to hang out with us and see all this madness, we have crazy adventures. So come on guys, repair flats in prepared and send a photo of it and one of you will go with us in the world tour. Do it, do it, do it. Max has become obsessed with the idea of upholstering furniture. He upholsters everything he can with his clothes and renews the furniture in this way. Oh my, the window's closed. Yeah. Actually, we plan to do it at night. That is way too loud. We can't make so much noise, no? We can't behave this way yet. This chair looks pretty good. Awesome. Yeah, cool. And you made it so professional. I'm just trying. Maybe we can do some upholstering in my house too? That wasn't loud. By day we can open windows and breathe some fresh air. I'm going to prove you again that it's a real prepaid. Look at the neighbor building. But you keep it down. Hush. Anton, hush. Get out. There is a car. Was it in front? No, there was a faraway sound. We have searched many flats and found this cool table just above us. Yeah, a bit higher, you got wallpaper. Rebuilding of the flat goes. There is also a fine pedestal, a pedestal sink. If you find a faucet, we can make a working sink. Of course, we need to get water here, but I have an idea. There's a tube, it's all safe. There it is. Prepaid houses, la la la. Come on, move it, move it, people. Anton is a pro cleaner of the team. We can make a plastic tablecloth from a trash bag. Yeah. Yeah, close the battery with it. Right. This is rare. I have found a fully working piano here in Pripyat. The mechanism is Zintech, always in place. I mustn't play, but... Someone may hear it. We have even taken some bad lining. No more sleeping bags. Sleep like home. It will be awesome. I had an idea. Instead of bringing a blanket with me, I will use my sleeping bag as a blanket. You mean it? Sure. I'm going to sleep like a king today. Like home. Smells good. It may be the cleanest bed in Pripyat for now. When I come in, I keep forgetting that I'm in Pripyat. This place has become really cozy. It's time to put a carpet. Oh my, it's perfect. That is just awesome, dude. We need to clear the floor now. Yeah, and we can take the shoes off. I go on the roof time to time. Because it is the only way we can communicate. There is even a 3G signal here on the roof. It is a neighbor flat. Our flat was like this in the beginning, so we made a normal flat out of that. We tried hard. Oh my gosh! Holy Alex! He scared me rigid. What are you doing here, Alex? I just heard someone whispering and went to find out. I thought I was caught by someone. Hey Alex, I just found a normal lock. It works. Yeah, it's working still. Fancy that. So now we can close the door. Hey, where is the lampshade? Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> it's the hallway, guys. We're gonna leave our shoes and jackets here. So when we have the floor mopped, we will take off the shoes. There, we'll eat. Nice. And we're gonna keep our food here. Actually, we don't care about food supply. We have connections, so we can get food there. Alex used the rope to hang these curtains. We have found the TV here. We have removed the dust from it already. Plug it in. There it is. We have found it in a flat. 
It works, but there is hardly any signal. I have found only one channel and it works well. Very old, but still working. Let's turn on the light. There is some. I need to tinker with it. Yeah, it may have some damage as well. Let's plug the antenna right in the meter wave channel. And now we try to catch something, maybe we can. We can hear something, but don't see anything, the signal is too weak. There is no signal in Pipit, or the antenna is broken. But I will do my best to repair it. We all want to know what it can show us here in Pripyat, in the Chernobyl Forbidden Zone. Maybe it was left in the 19th. There were people here too. Or some local guys hid it here. Can it be so? Yeah, why not? Alex, are the sockets working now? Yeah, they work. So I can charge my smartphone? Yeah, you can. Well, I'm gonna charge all my batteries now. What's that? We have taken it with us. The only trouble is a Euro socket. And it doesn't fit here. I have to tinker again. Well, I have plugged the heater. The fan isn't working well, and I have to help it a little. It's a bit used already. Hear that? There it goes. Aha, it works. I feel that something's wrong. What the hell? Dima went in because of the sound. Well, I think from this we have finished our prepper trip. Wait, clean your feet. Yeah, 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 sorry. Everything's good, all sockets work. I am charging the light for the camera. The heater is finally working, and now we can dry our shoes and get warm. I had to make a snot, because the plug didn't fit the socket and prep it. So it's going to be warm today? Yeah, it will be hot. It will be as good as in sauna. Do you feel the heat, Anton? Yeah, I feel warm air. Cool. So it must become faster, isn't it? Yeah, sure, it's just too old. Some warm air. Yeah, really. I didn't expect it works. The air is so hot. So guys, let's eat something. Yeah, it is the time. I have a recipe. Take a candy bar. Add it. Pour some dry noodles. And heat it well. You think it's gonna be tasty? I think it will be. Learn some cooking with me, Chef Maxime. I'm with you and for you and close to you. What's your chef grade? 94. There are no such, but I have it. <laughs> the maximum degree is 6. I'm closing the window so no one could see us here. Look what I've got. I have screwed some tapping screws and it worked well. I can hang this whole thing. Now no one can see us here. Yeah, simple as that. That's it. All's good, guys. And curtains, too. That's it. Cool. Just look at this room. So cool. It looks so damn awesome. We are on the roof again. Because the antenna can't catch signal, it's really scary here, because other guys can see us there. Launching the wheel was scary, you know. And this is not. Going fishing tomorrow will be scary. This TV doesn't work. And I think there is no signal below. But here we may catch a signal. Let's admire the Chernobyl sunset together. The reactor is so close. It looks beautiful from the sunset. We can also see Duga from here. There it is. I can't find any channel by now. We can catch just a little bit of radio here. Antenna is on the highest place. We are still living in Pripyat, in the abandoned Chernobyl zone. And to live here better, we have started repairing a flat. Let me show you what we've got for now. Okay, let's go. Room tour of Pripyat flat. That is a hallway. Now it is ruined. And it's the elevator here. And we haven't repaired it too. Not working. The neighbor's flat. Sure they don't live there. It's all broken apart. And this is our flat. We haven't finished all the rooms, but... 
At least we have light everywhere. Let's have a look at the living room. We have already fixed that. There is a pile of scrap, yes, but we made it deliberately. Because there are lots of stalkers and police, anyone can go there. We don't want anyone to realize that there is a living flat. And that's why we put it like this. And by the way, installing locks in Pripyat is a bad idea. The stalkers will destroy everything. Because they are very curious. I heard something. Oh my, it's all scary now, dude. It's complete darkness there. Who is in there? Just make it faster, dude. Anyway, let's go and see our flat. Here we go. Move in, welcome! Let's turn on the light. And there's a welcome rug near the door. It says nice to meet you. Take off the shoes, we can put on some slippers now. Where are they? <laughs> They're stolen, Alex. <laughs> that was a joke. Home slippers. We are at home after all. Don't make much noise, guys. The guys are putting a carpet. Everything's going well. For now, we have candle heating system. We lit up about 20 candles. I don't know how much. 40. And we can feel enormous heat from them. It is much warmer than outside or in other flats. We have seen this color in many houses and buildings here in Chernobyl. And that is why we have painted these walls in this light green color. Because it reflects the spirit of those times and the USSR. There is our kitchen. We have a nuclear cool camping cooker. The gas goes. That's it. Hear that. A little stock of canned meat here. And candles, of course. We use them as a light source and heating too. And they heat very well, actually. Is that MTV Creeps show? And there is the reserve stock of food. It's the food the other stalkers left. I can hear, it may be out of date. Some dried noodles, some inflatable pillows, and the second one. And a cup. I don't know whose is this stuff, previous stalkers maybe. We don't touch it, maybe one time they will come back. Let's see what is on the other shelves. We have another stock here, there is a gas mask, very smart one. Some alcohol, just in case. Our red away, so to say. Some foil for cooking fish in it, that we're gonna catch. And plenty of other stalker devices. I really couldn't remember why stalkers take some rose hip with them. Because mice love it. Stalkers feed mice with rose hip. I saw there was some under the wardrobe, so just a nice snack for mice. Now I understand why it's on the floor. Some personal stuff here and a webcam that we want to... Yeah, we have an idea. We wanna hide a webcam here, somewhere in a nice place. And connect it somehow. So when we are back home, we would see who will come here. Do you like the idea? A real online cam from a prepaid flat. Alex, can you open the window a little and show us some awesome curtains you've set? The window is like that, but why? It is simple. We don't want anyone to see us here, you know, guys? Out there, maybe police or bad stalkers. Or some anarchy vandals that walk through Pripyat too. This thick plastic film will protect us from their sight. We have also found a nice TV. But it doesn't get any signal for some reason. By the way, there is an antenna. I found a cable. It isn't working, I will try to fix that and eventually it may work. You mean it? Sure, I will have to try at least. Okay, let's do it. And you guys keep in mind that we are in Chernobyl. And somehow we have light in our flat. By the way, Alex promised to hang a lampshade. But he haven't done it yet. For us, electricity isn't a trouble. We can charge anything, anytime. There I go, charging. But it has 95% charge already. We have got a small heater here. But for now, candles are enough. We can turn it on. It's scary. It's cracking like hell, but people can dry shoes and get warm. And we've got a nice sofa. And we have got some bad linen for it. I have tried it, nice and warm, I recommend it. The only thing is, some kind of beast scared us rigid. It was making noises and so on, and we couldn't fall asleep. We were scared rigid. But it was just an animal, most likely a fox. So we always close our doors very well. And on this shelf we have everything for repair. Screws, ties, scotch, ropes, wires, and so on. That isn't all, we have also got... Oh, that is the most secret shelf. There is the equipment. Look at this fishing rod, kids. We can make a fishing rod from a stick. 
And there we have a professional fishing road. But remember, fishing in Chernobyl zone is forbidden. Only professionals are allowed to fish in the zone and for an experiment only. Because catching fish for eating is forbidden, it must be released. But how we keep the videos going, living in Pripyat? It is very simple. Technologies. We live in the age of technology. And we can create our videos using this small device. There is no internet for now, but maybe Alex will get some later. Now it's on the roof only. Yeah, and that's why you have to climb on the roof to upload the videos. And what else we have done to this flat? Max, Ruda, the, the what? <laughs> why laughing? He couldn't pronounce my name for 30 minutes. And yes, he has upholstered this old chair. Looks cool and it's comfortable to sit. And the clothes matches with the curtains. And this little humble place where I sleep, it was improved as well. Stylish. Anton, why on earth you are walking on the carpet in your boots? What the hell, we don't do it. That happens sometimes. Anyway, it will be me who is gonna wash it. Sure, this is an extreme kind of vacation. I can say for sure. It's very hard to stay here and live there, especially when we are running out of food. Yeah, we don't have any food and tomorrow we'll go fishing. And we're going to eat this fish. Last week we were gathering mushrooms in the forest. We have checked each mushroom for radiation. They were good. And we fried them with onions. Added some buckwheat and that was just awesome. We have a nice guide. And he has many useful connections. We can make a call in any moment and get some Coca-Cola. And those guys bring us some water and also some chocolate bars and some other stuff from the civilized world and so on. Even some utensils. For now we're getting by. In future we're going to try to restore the entire flat. We're going to buy lots of building materials again and do all needed to complete it. To make one single flat normal back again. Or at least make it look like this. If you like this idea, guys, smash like, subscribe and say what you want to say. We don't ask for more. People keep forgetting that we are in Pripyat, but if I open the door, the call of Pripyat is heard again. Careful there. Oh my gosh, it's all broken. I nearly forgot about it. It's so cold. Yeah, it became really cold. See this? There are mice. Careful, there. Don't point in the windows. That is devastation. You are in Pripyat, Anton. There are no people, no help, nothing. A bit more than normal, 22. I think it is normal for Pripyat. It is normal for a place where exploded a nuclear power plant. Oh my, what's there? For Pripyat this background radiation is okay, don't worry. We are in the lucky area. There are almost no radioactive rains. There is no crazy radiation like on the top. Just remember the fear in my eyes when it starts cracking hard. And you're really gonna sleep there? Tomorrow we will face the medical unit and other hell. That will be cool, don't worry. Actually, I have suggested Alex to go there a half a year ago, because I didn't have anyone to go with me in Chernobyl. Anton told me sit tight and wait, until we will have an opportunity to go. And there we are. Six other bloggers were supposed to join us here, and we were waiting for them. But only me left. We are not upset, guys. We just say hello to Super Seuss, to Interesting and Ficus, saying also hello to Phantom, and to Vadim Vadimic. Yeah. We say hello even to Vladimir Znoy, who doesn't answer us at all now, even if it's death and life question. <laughs> Lots of people are going to see this video, and we're afraid they're gonna go there and destroy this flat. People, I beg you, don't do it. Don't be vandals. You better do your part for this flat and make it better somehow. Create, don't destroy, please. We are many, and we can make Pripyat better for each other. It has suffered too much already. It becomes really hot. The candles are heating hard. Let's take off the extra clothes. We saw many drain pipes on the roof, and they still work. We're going to set on some bus tubs to get the water on the attic. And then we'll use this water supply system to get water in our flat. We haven't found any faucet, so we have to take it somewhere. Repair the sink, then repair bathroom and the toilet too. As we found out, the water supply system is still working and it's very nice. Well, let's talk about the internet. Is it working there or not? So, yes, it is working here. All of the guys are looking at the smartphones and Max is talking. The signal here is extremely weak and slow. So there's a life hack how to get fast and easy internet signal. Well, first we took a spare smartphone that we don't use much, turned on the hotspot mode, then connected the charger to it to keep it always working, and placed it on the upper floor balcony. You will have to find a place with the best signal. 
and the best signal is transferred to the smartphone and everyone can use the internet. To put it simply, it is the easiest scheme to improve your signal in distant areas. We were thinking about, what if we get caught now? So just imagine police coming here, and here they see the light. And... A repaired flat, a TV and a heater, and of course the nice bats. That look almost new. And Anton also. That's pity that police doesn't care about good stalkers like we are. Why catching the normal guys like us? And the vandals must be punished first. I am in charge of the kitchen again, so to say. And I'm cooking for my comrades from my very soul, really. Hey comrade Alex, let's eat. Food? Yeah, let's go. Guys, cup noodle smells extremely cool here. It smells like just like the tastiest food ever. I feel like I have never eaten anything like this before. And the chef brought me this meal of gods and says, hey, it's the best food in your life, dude. It smells good. <laughs> It is 2 am and I want some Bieber. I have hardly found it on my phone. Well, guys, hush! Are they wolves? Holy cow, just hold the door! What if someone breaks in? We need to hold the door. Maybe the stalkers believe up or lower. Do they also have a flat here? I'm really scared. Because I don't know who is that. It's in the neighbor room. He's gonna hear us. Maybe it's a fox? Take a flashlight and see who's there. It may come in here. We're gonna go there, guys. Calm down. Let's prepare. What's there? Hey. I wish they are not cops. Damn. Psycho. It is going to jump in, I tell you. It wants to enter, I tell you. Where's your stun gun? Where? Stun? I took a knife. Careful. Buy one. I think these are mice. That was too loud for them. What's there? Do you see anything? What's there? I showed the knife, so we may have scared the stalkers. What if it runs on you right now? Don't point in the windows. So you wanna say these maggots scared us? <laughs> these were maggots? Fancy that. An animal might went in and try to steal them. What kind of? A fox or anything else? I just heard the tire moving somewhere and thought that these were people. Hush! You hear it? It's there! There, I mean it! It's a mouse. So we were scared of a mouse? Do you have some poison? Maybe. I thought it was the police. And even put my camera in my pants, guys. You know, to keep my data safe. Well, it's time to sleep, guys. So we packed up and sleep with candles now. Romantic style. Tomorrow we'll go fishing, finally. Good morning, everyone. It's night. It's 5 and 3 a.m. It's fishing day. My mission finally starts. From now we have 3 hours till the first patrol starts. At night we heard the howl of the wolf. And all we have done is barricading that door with a little chair. Just look at it. It wasn't the wolf's call, that was Anton's snore. It's really cold now. Anton is wearing his thermal underwear. Oh yeah. Yummy. Oh yes, looks so tasty. We're actually gonna test the myth about the existence of the giant Chernobyl fish. Or it's a fake. All's well, maggots are alive. Maggots are alive. What kind of trouble can our fishing bring? We may go to prison. I have a question. Can I poison your maggots, please? <laughs> I'm voting for this. Yeah, I really want to do it. The guys don't want to go there. They said they don't want to go there. But they have some roads with them too. So is it an easy fishing road kit? Yeah, just add a stick. Cool. And they have some ground bait too. We're gonna feed it. And there will go a giant two-headed beast. They are going to swim to me and ask to catch them. I hope this means I heard about are true. Tell us what's that, Max? It is a special feeder. Tell me why these fish hooks are so big. 
Because we are going after the mutant fish, predict in the comments what fish we are going to catch. Or maybe you don't think it's a good idea. What? I am making it. A breakfast? I thought we were gonna have coffee. And it's a healthy breakfast. Mega smell like hell now. And I think that makes them attractive for fish. It's my first fishing experience actually. And I'm a little excited about it. The civilized world is left behind this door. And the maggot adventure begins. Going down. We need to get to the river. It is 30 minutes walk. I carry the rules in my hand. Because Dima told me that I should throw them away if we got caught. If we get caught, throw them so that no one sees that. Otherwise the police officers will become angry. Well, we have reached the embankment. This place is open and I feel weird. Yeah, it's atmospheric. It's weird. Can they find us near this place? Sure they can. We have seen well. People know this place. Let's get started. Dima, stay and watch. Keep a lookout. There was a flashlight. Hush, everyone. Let's go. Go. Take the fishing road. There are the excursions. It's dangerous to stay there. There was a car in the distance. We have decided to leave the embankment and go to the wild shore. We have gone fishing and there is gamma radiation 160. We shouldn't stay there for long. Dima studies the maps. Nice one. Such a fat worm. The experienced fisherman told me to put here as much ground bait as possible. I have put on two hooks. There are two maggots on one hook and a worm on another. First try it. Don't catch me occasionally. Oh, holy cow! Cool. The fish started moving. Just hold it tight and try to feel the fishing line moves. Don't pull it at once. Let fish start eating. Waiting now. Max seems to catch something. What's there? Oh, there's nothing. Only seen, yes? Hush! Stay back. You will not make it like this. Oh, good one. Now hold it and pull little by little, bro. Oh my, there was a rumor about the water police. They patrol on the lakes and check if anyone fishes. I have fed the fish just yet and they started moving already. I thought it would be easier to catch something, that there is plenty of fish and so on, but there is nothing still. I have decided to check out the radiation rate of water. Let's see. It isn't much. But if we go farther... Be silent. Look there, guys. Turn left, left! Oh my gosh, it was 400! Near the water it's okay, a little farther too, but if I go up the hill it grows rapidly. I'm gonna try to find the epicenter. Over there. Maybe these were my hands? Alex. There it is. It is underground, right. Oh my, it is over 1000, 1400, holy cow, it has gone crazy, oh my gosh, what's the normal rate, normal is 20, but there is 1200, it's biting, shame on you, I was ready to run there, let's check out the fishing rolls and see what's there, is there something, damn, that sucks, nothing there. And the bait is intact. It is for throwing. Throw it over and over again, we're losing time. Okay, it's weird here. A big one? Is the predator right? It's on the left, now on the right. We all are waiting, we haven't caught anything. Do you have a lure? What's that? I mean, a fishing lure. I think so. Do you have it? I don't know, I feel what does it lure means. Fishing in Pripyat is unforgettable. All these feelings and the atmosphere here. If 
you don't believe me that they are filming in the Pripyat, just look over there. Abandoned houses. The experienced fisherman, can you please tell me what I'm doing wrong? Was it the wrong bait? Maybe I was supposed to catch on leaf bait? We are standing here for 40 minutes and nothing has showed up. It's dangerous here, so we better get out of here in 5 minutes. Can you tell my viewers why it's so dangerous to stay there? We can be caught. And that's it. Next time we are going to change the place. We are going to fish in the place where are no excursions, far from the city. And next time we will have a safe way back. I think we can try it again. But I say it again, this is not allowed to do there. That's funny. He's dirty now. A big fish, really? He's pulling something. Like that. Just pull it like I showed you, dude. First pull the fishing line and then the road. No, 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 on yourself, on you. Pull it. Good job, fisherman. There it is, big one. Oh, there is nothing again. Holy cow. Fiasco, that is just fiasco. Alright then, it stole the bait. Okay, bro, let's move now. Megas are on the place, but there is no worm. Though we don't care about them, right? Ok guys, we have to leave with no fish today. Let's go. Don't put the road far away. Why so? We are going to leave it here. Just don't worry about the road, dude. It is costly. How much? About 50 bucks. It can be so. Max doesn't want to leave his fishing road. Max. We will go through Pripyat. Plenty of coves there. Just hide it here. We are leaving the net as well. I don't want to leave it there. What are you gonna tell them? You were catching butterflies? What are your thoughts, Dima? We have decided what to do with the road already. Yeah, Dima is going to take it, a nice road. Let's flip a coin for it. Funny. I really don't want to leave it here, but I have to. So guys, my subscribers that will come here, there is the embankment, there is the Pripyat hotel. I am leaving this fishing road right here. Hooks and worms too. I hope the worms will be alive when you come here. Dude, don't touch it, extremely radioactive. Keep away. Like this, I hit it really well. What? There is 1500 micro has, dude, and you touched it. Idiot. Let's go, guys. We have to. Oh my gosh. You touch the radioactive leaves. I'm good, guys. Really? 1500 micro has is good? Give him wet napkins. His hands are contaminated now. That's not a joke, never do it yourself. I don't know what he was thinking about when he was touching the most radioactive spot. I just left my fishing rod for my dear subscribers here in Pripyat so they can use it and catch some fish here. Oh yeah, we are doing our best for you guys. We hit there a fishing road, it will become radioactive soon. Enjoy your fishing, guys. No, it will not become. I feel really sorry about all these guys. I was sure that we could catch something in Pripyat. But we can catch something, however, it will take us much more time. We are getting closer to the embankment. It is dangerous here. This moment is scary. We have found something. It is the medical unit, guys. Gage counter is on. We can't do without it. Damn, it's too high already. It is high. 50. I feel dizzy. Careful, glass on the floor. Now it's good. Look, normal. There are lots of excursion here. Is it a surgery room? Holy cow! Anton? Max, would you like to be operated? On the chair? Nope. Hush! This is it, guys. It's a torture room. There is no radiation at all. Interesting. 
It is a urino. Holy cow! I have never seen such urinals. Look here! What's that? This stalkers draw it? Look, it's a printing. That's smart. They just printed it. The list of patients. You know, guys, I have a hospital mood now. In this medical unit, we were treated the firemen, and lots of things happened here. There were many people affected by radiation. This is the famous burst chair, guys. Max, do you want to try it? No, thank you. It is so cute. Is it too much here? 16. Oh, it's normal, but most like in our flat. Hush. We are leaving the medical unit quickly. We can hear cars and buses going through the city now. And there are people. Staying near the prepared ferris wheel is extremely dangerous, guys. Especially after they try to launch it. We are commonly known to have a lot of fans, so to say. This is it. It's risky to stay here, to say the least. Let's go fast, there is no one here. People, there are people. Hush, everyone. Did they see us? He wasn't watching this way. Nice. He was walking in the opposite direction. Haven't seen us. There was a patrol near the wheel, guys. By the way, this patrol appeared here soon after Kerasan tried to launch the wheel. And they are guarding it for two months already. I don't understand why we are going here. Okay, I just trust Dima. We were at the wheel, but there are security. We tried to turn back and there were two buses already in front of us. For some reason the excursion started one hour earlier. And we are passing through some building now. We're gonna go on the top and see what's happening. This house is near the wheel. And now I'm glad I dropped these fishing roads, they could make it worse. Echo of the USSR. Look here. Vodka is everywhere. Not surprised. It is the only radiation medicine. Now we can go on the roof and look at the wheel nice and easy. Yeah, why not? We're here already. Is it a kind of dorm? Yeah. A dorm? Yeah, kinda. Such a nice ladder. The wheel is extremely close now. Hey Max, just look at this huge tree over here. It grew right on the roof. Yeah, I see it. But this view pulls my attention more than that. There are the Soviet skyscrapers with ambulance nearby. And the reactor in the mist. I don't see anyone. It seems empty. And the buses are coming. We are going home through bushes and forest now. Holy hell, look at this, who made this entrance, guys? It's so shaking hard and... Don't think about it, just go in. Everything is shaking and falling apart, so be careful, guys. Tap carefully. We have delayed our returning, and now we have to go through the center. It is 9 am, dangerous time. Because the excursion started already. A dorm? Yeah. That was a college, some energy stuff or something. Walking behind this fence, and the road is so close. Do you want some berries? Looking good. Yummy. Want some? No. Maybe it's deadly nightshade. Subscribe me, and I'm gonna eat it. It's poisonous. Really? Yeah, it's risky. Holy moly. This one is a tough guy, I'm sure now. It is tasty and sweet. Try to guess what's going to happen with him below. Why eating nightshade? I don't understand. He's going to have diarrhea. Was it really dangerous? Being caught is dangerous. So I shouldn't have done that. No, it's okay. Good for you. I also ate rose hip. Such a huge gas tank here. There and there can stay buses. Over there for sure. The most risky moment. 
He said go. Fast, go fast. Let me see us now. Well, we have crawled the main road successfully. What's that? A kind of mushroom? We are almost home. No accidents, no one saw us. This white nine floor looks almost new. Everything here is familiar. We know every window and entrance now. And we know that there is a stalker flat, and there is another one. We have learned how they look like. We also know who lives where and when arrives. By the way, if you need a stalker flat, write us. This is our entrance. That's a part from elevator motor. The fuse box. And there is the entrance. That's it. We are safe. Let's go to our floor. What's up, Max? Did you like Dima's jokes? Do you regret about the fishing road? Sure. Was it costly? Yeah. Dima just really wanted to go home. And he doesn't like fishing at all. Don't film it, bro. That wasn't funny. I really wanted to catch a giant fish for my viewers. Actually, it's forbidden here. It's a national park. We could easily go in prison for that. I wasn't joking. We shouldn't play with that. So we did the right thing and hid that road. Left it for subscribers. So you want them go to prison? No, my subscribers are too smart for that. They know how to catch a fish. But guys, if you got caught with a fishing road, just throw it away and say it's not mine, I see it for the first time. That's it. You will not go to prison. Well, guys, we have been living here for long. And we'd like to answer frequently asked questions that you leave below videos. Well, let's go. And the first one goes like this. Why did you go to Pripyat? There is radiation, you're gonna die. You will never have children. Let me answer this one. It's slippery. We have a dosimeter with us, and I can tell you guys, there is nothing to be afraid of. The radiation rate here is not that big, it's almost normal, like in normal cities. It can't do any harm, because the power of radiation got weakened with time. The only danger here are the radioactive particles, which you might inhale or eat occasionally, if your hands dirty. When the reactor exploded, there started the radioactive rains and so on. So the radiation was spread irregularly. So there are the clear zones and also contaminated zones. So don't worry about us guys, we are the pros, so we can do it. Why you keep running from security? Zelensky allowed to go there, didn't he? I'm gonna tell you why. Because Zelensky didn't allow it. And he couldn't. It is not his competence. And this will hardly ever happen. Maybe one day, going in will become easier. But it's only about legit visits. We are not legit here. And there is a fine line between people that have a pass and those who doesn't. What can happen if I just go to Pripyat, just like a tourist, walking there and not touching anything? If I'm not a vendor or marauder? Oh, thank you, it's a good question, especially for this nice room. The first thing can happen to you, you can be exposed to radiation. And also, obviously you can be caught by a patrol. I mean the military guards. So you may go to prison, or you will be fined. And what's next? If you got caught and they are writing a protocol, it is not scary. It means you're gonna pay a fine and get a warning. How much will be that fine? The fine is about 17... Grivna? <laughs> I have enough with me. Well, 17 dollars is minimum. It won't be too much anyway. The thing isn't money, guys. We run because we got many cameras. Unofficial filming in Chernobyl is forbidden. So everything we have filmed will be deleted. And I wanna say this. Even if you are caught, don't give them your cameras or smartphones. Police cannot take them by force. Because it's your property. And always protect your rights, guys. No matter what situation it is. And this question is frequent. Where did you get food? The fact is, there are no shops in Pripyat. The closest shop is in another city, in Chernobyl. But it is too far. And it's risky to go there, plenty of security guys, and we need passes to go there. Unfortunately, we don't have them. But it turned out that there is food delivery service here in Pripyat. Actually, you can order anything you need. You just need to call a number, send money on the card, and that the courier will leave your goods in a certain hiding place. That's it, you need to go out of the place, take your order and go back home. And you also need to put money in the secret place. We can use a card too, actually. Yeah, there are different options, by the way. 
Yeah, and I'm wearing slippers. And the most frequently asked one is, why you guys moved to Pripyat? Actually, we have grand plans. We would like to restore this city, little by little. For now, we have fixed one room. Next, we want to repair the drainage system, and then we'd like to make a new challenge or a trend, and eventually encourage people to restore the entire Pripyat, so that stalkers start to restore it, not destroy. You know, clean something or fix something to better preserve the history of this place. Stop your hating, do some good things. And don't forget, guys, nevertheless, it is a kind of extreme leisure. It is just like fishing or hunting, and this kind also develops. Even talking outside is risky here, because there are lots of excursions nearby. Talk quiet or they're gonna hear you. Yeah. I really wanted to go there and feel the Chernobyl adrenaline, and I felt it. Big thank to you guys. The next question goes about one of your videos. Was your trip to the reactor official or not? And there are many questions about the word futuristic. There was a nuclear power plant. Look at these canisters, they look so futuristic. Uh, this one for Anton. He loves radiation. That was illegal. That cannot be legit, because there are no excursions in that area at all. You can google the entire internet, but you will never find it. No excursions on the third row. Regarding the word, I was really overfilled with emotions, and at that moment I really thought that what I see, the interior, looked futuristic in the past, in those times. Well, what else can I tell you to sum up this little interview with frequent questions? Be kind, don't trash and prep it. Don't be vandals, and the security will treat stalkers better than. We will not be punished that hard. Only our common effort can save this monument, the monument of one of the most tragic disasters in history, and preserve it for our children, so to say. I hope we have answered the most common questions and so on. But you guys also welcome in the comments. Write all your questions and what else you'd like to know about this trip. And subscribe. You may start thinking that we live here alone and there is no one else, that we are bored here. But in fact, we often see other stalkers in the evening. And today we are going to visit some people that have been living here for a long time. I mean always. There are no such people in Pripyat, but there are some settlers in the villages nearby. We are going to talk to them and see how they live here. We're gonna see their garden and how they grow radioactive fruit, like everyone think. We're going to check out the soil and finally find out whether these vegetables are radioactive or not. We're gonna have an awful lot of questions there, let's keep going. Yeah, let's go. We're packing up our things. I worry about my flat, we're leaving it alone. I'm really afraid someone may break in. Such a nice prepared view from our window. Yeah. We're not going to leave there any trash, and we'll also leave here a trash can for now. Well, let's go. Yeah. Keep clean the monument city prepaid, guys. Sounds good. Let's draw the curtains, so no one could see our attractive flat. And we're going to mask the entrance well. It is going to look not attractive at all. So don't even try to find our flat, it will be hard. But if you find it, please don't be vandal. If you found it, please don't tell anyone where it is, because the information will go to vandals and they will destroy everything. I'm leaving my slippers and a rug. Well, let's go. We are in Pripyat, hush. Now we're going to see the bucket, which was used to remove the graphite near the exploded fourth energy unit. A radioactive bucket? Yeah, yeah, we're here. There it is. Let me take the dosimeter. Let's measure the radiation rate here. It's a mortal treat, guys. 11, 12, 13, 1000! 14, 15, 20, 27, 33,000 inside. I want to measure the metal itself. Seventy thousand. The camera is safe. Touch it with the hand. Twenty, fifty. Look at it. Sixty. Eighty. Where is the epicenter? How much? Oh my gosh! It is risky, Alex. You think it's going to break? I think this is the epicenter. 400, 500, 570, 570,000 of micro hands. I am really afraid now and I feel weird, so we can feel the radiation. Anyway, 570,000 is too much for me. 
there are many radioactive things. What's up? I feel bad, bro. My vision darkened. Really? No jokes, guys, I mean it. What? I told you we must do it fast. Are you okay, Anton? Guys, I'm not okay, not joking. Take off your backpack. Let me help you. Maybe we should go farther. Do you feel relief? How much time it takes to become irradiated? The radiation is such a thing, it is not studied well enough, so no one can tell for sure. But I can tell you for sure that 570,000 is more than normal. It is 25 times more than normal rate. That's crazy, mutation can start. At 25 times dose, that's why this bucket is called the death bucket. Look at this forest. There's plenty of various construction machines, some cabins and cars there, and they are extremely radioactive too. This is the chemistry of machines that took part in Chernobyl disaster liquidation. People tried to clean them up, and after 25 years they all were supposed to be used again. But these vehicles were broken by vandals, so the engines were stolen, wheels punctured and so on. So when people came back after these machines, they realized that they were useless. And they left them here, am I right? No. Really? That's all bullshit. But the official excursion guide told me so. Yes, they tried to clean them up, but the story was really different. There is the most dangerous place on our route, Yanov Station. This place is really open and anyone can see us. We gotta go fast. We are almost at the metallurgy's base. I can see the cables, so they have light here. We can connect, but carefully, so no one see it. We're going quickly. Dima shouts, "Go fast! Go fast!" Because we are risking now, isn't it? It is one of the most dangerous places. Oh my gosh, I fell. Why you both fell down? I don't know, I was going and that's it. Holy moly. We also have fallen there, Anton. Let's go, let's go now. I realize now, it is the field we went through with Madim. Well guys, that is how an absolutely abandoned village looks like. The fence is almost falling, but there is an antenna, there are windows. The fact they are living here doesn't reach other people. It's clear there. Fancy that, in the Chernobyl zone, there live people. We're gonna show you them. They are growing something, vegetables maybe. What do you think is going to happen now? Will they meet as well or not? I think they will be happy. We have brought them chocolate, buckwheat and so on, tea, coffee. Guys, look there, there are patches. Do you hear that? She says, I will feed you, come to me. This granny calls us. Should we go or not? I hope it will be okay, we are coming. Just look at this grand vegetable patch, it's so big, oh my gosh. Is there a limitation? Oh, she can plant everywhere, endless territory. This granny can plant whenever she wants. There are no authorities who will argue with that. Are there any neighbors? So people live in autonomy here. Imagine that. I wonder, are there any potato leaves? Hello, hi. Can we join you? I'm careful, I can go through there, right? How are you doing? How am I doing, huh? Hello. I'm planting garlic. Planting garlic. Potato is gathered. Gathered, and then comes garlic. And I prepared that bed for winter. There is no organics, so I used some watermelons as fertilizer. Threw them on it. We have brought some food for you that was left. And... Guys, I have to plant and then... Okay, we can just leave it near your house by the well, if you don't mind. No, that's not right. You have brought something for me and I need to pay you back. No, no, we are just... No, don't even think about it. Okay. Kids, but first I need to plant my garlic here. Okay. Can you help me? Yeah, okay, sure. Come, take one part and this side... To the ground, like this. Uh-huh. At this distance. Okay, got it. Can we film? Film sound, then you will show how Granny plants garlic. <laughs> Alright. Where are they from? Ukraine. They have a YouTube channel. 
I was called today already, I refused, I called them Mackie. Foreigners? Uh-huh. They wanted to bring here 15 people. Who wanted to go there? Is that Euro? Euro Moroz. If someone comes, I need to feed them and tell stories, and they take photos and talk something, I don't know what they are talking. <laughs> I used to come here in 2011, maybe you remember? Son, I got... I know, I know, too many people come here. There were 50 people this year. Are you popular? You were planting this row. This one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, come on, plant some. You help me plant, good boys, and I will save some garlic for you too. Oh, you, why you planted two? Oh, I shouldn't do that, right? That's too much. Oh, what I did wrong? Like this. That is right. With that thing like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Almighty Lord, give us bread and salt on the table and bless these crops for everyone's share. For kind people and bad people, for thieves and workers, too. Some pumpkins, were they tasty? The nuclear taste of Chernobyl. The season of melons is over. Sure thing. It is the very end of the season. She might be making supplies for the entire year, how do you think? What else she can do? There are no shops here. That is awful, she can't even buy some bread. Hello there. Hello. These guys are with us too. Not Mackie? No, no, no. Okay, not Mackie. Who are Mackie? I don't know. Foreigners. We are the Poluchuki people, and we can speak Ukrainian, Belarusian, and Russian. Poluchuki means people who live in the Palesia. The ground is sandy. You might have to water it many times, right? I water it never. Really? Don't you see that turf and peatlands? It is not Chernozom, it's grey soil. Really? This land used to be the landowner's territory, and after the revolution it was divided between farmers. These lands were dried. After the explosion they were abandoned. And the fields were overgrown. So Granny has to farm hard till the very end of the farming season. There must be plenty of work. And get there the bucket. Did you make that fancy wicker basket yourself? Yeah. This is called the bracing, uh -huh. and this is pine, there is pine, and this box is made like this. I wonder how many neighbors you have? 15 people, 11 farms, so some people live together. So now guys, help me to carry it all home. I'm pulling the car, sure thing. I need a long stick to keep you going well. Don't worry, we will find one. You need a stick? A nice stick to drive him. Take it, guys. Is Rekka herself made too? These were made by my husband before he passed away. I think people used these a hundred years ago. When it broke, he fixed it with a nail. Mm. See? Can I drive there? Yeah, sure, we can go now. You know, I feel like we have been teleported back a hundred years ago. All things are just... Yes, all things are self-made. A box and a raker. It seems to be too hard for a granny to put this cart here. Yeah, this thing is heavy. One day I have put all the potato crop like this. Both potato and carrot. That is hard. Sure it is. It is hard even for the young. But granny makes it. I am 78 years old. Someone else came here. Let me help you. Hello, hi there. Hello, Granny Lou. Some guests. What are you doing here? I missed you. We would like to come by in 20 minutes. I have brought someone. He was in the block today. The graphite block. Just for one minute. I have come with Christian today. Why haven't you told me at once? I tell you, this Granny is a superstar here. Hey, Dima, what's the graphite block? I'll tell you later. Dangerous? Sure thing. Is it very dangerous? What brought him there? Did you hear that, Anton? There is a graphite block from the reactor somewhere. Good day! Dobry den! In the meantime, we'll go about our own business and come back later. Okay, go, go. They can be three or four, and often come here for a week. Sometimes three times a day. Aren't you getting tired of people here? Sometimes I do, son. Once there came three buses. And I needed to accept them and feed everyone. 
Now, let me show you. I can handle it. No, 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 give me that. Get back. Oh. Self-driving mode. I see you've got your own life hacks. Do you like in here, Anton? I have mixed feelings. It's very neat here. Pay attention. A new fence here. Close the door, or the geese will run away. A nice shed. So I'm taking it in? Can you? Sure. Easier, easier. I told you. Like that. You're bad. It's okay, I'm gonna learn to drive. It fell. You have arrived. Oh, dropped. Sorry, a car accident. Where is the shovel? Hang them like this. Like Granny does it to avoid disorder. I don't like mess. I want everything to be on its place. It's cozy here. Cozy? Yeah, I feel village spirit. Okay, kids, I have to wash my hands now. Do you speak Belarusian? A little bit. Granny says there are lots of tourists. And look at these traces. Uh huh. Come in, but bend a little. The roof has moved down there. Can we be your working power and bring you some roofing slate? Should we take out the shoes? No, don't. I will wear your wellingtons. Yes? Yes. Look at that granny. That's you. The radioactive mushrooms here. Yeah, maybe. And so many. They're giant. An old freezer. It smells like dacha. Feel that? Yeah, the smell of dacha. Take a look at the house. It is nice outside, so we are going to eat in the yard. Hi, <laughs> Anton. This house is just like the abandoned ones, but this one is intact. I feel like I am in a museum. This looks so fine. Yeah, it's very clear there. And the stuff is in perfect condition. We slept in the house like this. Let me remind you how the other houses in Chernobyl look like. There's a stuff in good condition here. There's a large bench and people sat here. I don't know why, but Granny's often covered TVs with these towels. Really? Oh, I know why. It's a superstition that evil power can be in the mirrors. Oh, there's a digital set-top box. There's a JVC remote control. Oh my gosh, it is so old. Icons. When I was a kid, we had the same clock in my parents' house. Just the same. So they are old too. Yeah. This stuff is so cool. It is just perfect. There might be some firewood. I was hitting the stuff today. Warm? Uh-huh. So the firewood goes through there, am I right? I guess. We didn't know that. Why well, I can play that? We have brought you a little bit. Place it by that sofa, son. Okay, thank you. We have brought some food, all that left. And look at these prikhvati. Stalkers. These must be for getting pots in and out. Yeah, like in cartoons. There are some jars inside. Granny saves gas and cleans these jars with steam. Is it possible? Oh my, son, what? Who got hurt? Oh, that can be... Oh, son. Did he hit his head? So you hit your head? She warned us about the roof. Yeah, yeah, I heard. But I was all rushing there and back, you know. I'm going to heal your wounds. The mighty Lord, with my spirit and words, I want to help this child. Jesus Savior, lead my will and benefit him. Remove all pain and suffer from this man. I spit on you, devil. And by the power of the sacred land, Lord, get him away from any sins and give help. Thank you very much. I should keep my head safe now. Yeah, right. After that, I... Just look where I'm looking. There's a classic carpet with what? With deers! I wanted to say that it's really home-like here. I feel peace and purity. We have seen many houses in Pripyat. Yeah, there are some modern things too. But there's an awful lot of details from old times. Just look at these Rushniks, for example. They all look so fancy and nice. Handmade, I guess. Mm -hmm. That is a small house, right? I have seen big ones somewhere. There are different houses. A smaller house is simpler to heat. House doesn't matter, it matters who lives there. 
I have green borscht. No, 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 thank you, we are full. And the Macs are coming soon. They are already at Marsha's. Anyway, take this salad and bread. Okay, help me bring it to the table. Thank you. Let's go, I will give you some cups. Take four. What a pile. Let me help, like that. I will give you some moonshine. Such a fancy bottle. It's a bottle from beer. Can you realize how welcoming this granny is? And she lives in the abandoned Chernobyl zone. Are you hungry? We haven't eaten a thing. Look at this lard. Oh, fancy hand washer. I had one in my village. A mirror, soap, everything. It is covered from rain, and there was a special plan to prevent dripping. I will get you some pickles too. Hang on. No, no, no. Are you going to experiment with this moonshine, Dima? Why not? The whole world drinks here. This granny is so open-hearted that I want to give her everything I have. I mean it. Smells so good. I can smell these pickles even from here. You just haven't eaten anything from this morning. That's all home cooking, I guess. Sure. What a fantastic granny you are. When Mecca and Polish come here, they eat about two jars of that. How do your grandchildren come here? Do they have to make a pass? They are in the list on the checkpoint. They are the list of people for each family, up to 10 people, not more. So they let in up to 10 relatives. Yeah, right. In the 25th of October, it will be 32 years since I moved here. Husband died, his sister lives in Skvira. When she came here to bury him, she had to pay fee. To get inside, right? We paid 100 grivnas for each person per day. They don't let inside another way. Drink some. Kids, don't be shy. Let's go. So there is no shop. And how often your relatives can visit you? They can come here once in six weeks. And they have to check in beforehand, no other way. So we order things beforehand. The least granny Anya. She wanted to buy a loaf of bread, but they didn't let her. She wasn't in the list. Do people that come here for a visit leave anything for you? Can you tell me? I call them Mackey. They come, but... Some of them bring bread, some sugar, someone brings tea, another brings noodle. A few people can give me 10 or 20 grivnas. It depends on conscience. People that live here have different pension amount. I was general worker, and I get 1,800 grivnas and 82 and 37 pennies. That little per month? Yeah, little, but Ira shares with me. And Christina too. They know about my situation and when they come for a visit, they often give me something too. So they bring you the pension, once per month, on seventh day, and we pay electricity on this day too. People used to bring us gas canisters once in three months. Gas? Yeah, once. But now they bring us gas twice per year. Sometimes I don't buy it and just pay for firewood. They bring it too. You buy it from your pension? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Last time I couldn't buy gas and they wanted me to take it in debt. I refused. So I switched to firewood. If something I can use my wood burning stuff and wood heater. Today I cooked green borscht in it. Oh my gosh, that is just awful, I can say. Son, they abandoned us. We don't live here, we survive. They keep telling us, go and live where we told you. This ain't village, it's a sanctuary. Mm. Poroshenko signed that it's a sanctuary now. Now only officials go there. Mm. They go through here and bring many boats. There is the sea, boats, speedboats, whatever. So they come here for fishing and like poachers. Sure, there must have appeared plenty of animals in these 30 years. I haven't seen reckons yet, but there were foxes, so the sons made a fence. I have goats and hares. I have one right here, in that cabin. Wild hare, yeah. Can we see it? Sure. <laughs> Take a picture. The real hare, wild hare. So you have caught it? No, it was newly born, I found him. He was this size. I was calling my son, Yura, Yura. He asked, what happened? A snake? I said, no, come here. And he saw this baby hair. Okay, let's see a hair finally. That is his bowel. It takes him three times to drink a bottle of milk. He drinks only in the morning. A greedy hair. Can it run away? Look at him. Big, he grew up. He is afraid of us. He is afraid, sure. And they are active at night. He has fear in his eyes. So cute. Tiny hair. 
Hello, kid. We will not hurt you. I call him Stepashka. Stepashka? I give him milk, cabbage and rice. What's up, hair? He is not going to eat. Yeah, he's afraid. He eats only at night. At night, little by little. He is scared rigid. He has scared eyes. Eat, sons. Come on, eat. Eat salt to keep your legs warm. Do tourists offend you? No, no, no. They are afraid of radiation too much. They are always afraid of touching things, you know. Once, one girl was sitting on the place where I put her. She didn't move at all. She didn't even touch doors. She was really afraid. Can you tell us about the local radiation rate? Was it big? Many people came here. People have measured the radiation rate dozens times. No one ever found any radiation here. The only thing that was replaced because of radiation is that bench. Long time ago my husband replaced it. After that no one ever found radiation here. It is not in the staff or house, not outside. No one can find any radiation. So many people come here, aren't you tired of it? Sometimes I'm tired of people and sometimes I feel lonely. I'm alone here, you know. There is no one to talk to. I always watch on the cars going there. If they honk, I wave my hand like this. But some of them just pass by. Now it's your hobby, right? <laughs> I feel sorry for them. Poor Granny has no place to go. And there are no shops nearby. She gets food, bread once in six weeks. Food just goes bad. What about medical attention? No, there is no such help. Only tourists come by and bring some medical supplies. I ask them if they have some pills with them, and sometimes they give me some pills. Blood pressure pills, from headache and so on. Sometimes I get creams. It depends. Okay, Granny, I need a sec to do something. We'll be right back. With your permission. Can I help you with something? I don't have much to do, maybe with... I think we should give her about 300 grivnas. I would like to donate more. A thousand maybe. Let's give her a thousand, bro. I think it's a nice idea. Ten. That's it. Do you have some pills? From headache, gels? She doesn't get medications. I'm going to leave her my shampoo and soap too. Let's go. I think she's going to be happy. Anyway, she needs that more than us. Can I come in? Oh, sounds. Watch your heads. We are okay, Granny. Are you leaving now? Yeah, we are moving. But look here, Granny. There are some painkillers from headache, for eyes, and etc. From stomachache and for heartburn. You'll figure it out. There is Nurofen and so on. Next, soap, shampoo for sanitation and so on. And dear granny, we have got for you. We have gathered all we could, so there is 1000 grivnas for you. Oh, sons. Thank you, my sons. We hope it will serve you good. Thank you, my children. Thank you. We have helped as much as we could. Come to me later, guys. You will be my guests. Sure thing. Even your moonshine is worth it to come a thousand miles. So we'll come by. Do come. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you guys that you don't forget about Granny's needs. See you. See you soon. God bless you. Goodbye, Granny. See you. Farewell, children. Farewell. There was a long way to our flat in Pripyat up ahead. And when we returned back home, we have found out that there was someone a good thing we have hit a camera there. There happened some kind of weird things. I'm not sure if you can show it on YouTube. I think the video will be banned. We will talk about it later.